Hi, Paul Broadhurst here from the Champions Tour. Just answering a few questions for you. Uh, question number one, what is your favorite city and why? Uh, I love going to Orlando. I'm still a big kid at heart and I've sort of took all my children over there for the past 20, 22 years. I uh, love going to the parks, love the place. Uh, Kissimmee and the outskirts of Orlando, it's a great place. Uh, and it's some, somewhere I look forward to going to uh, all the time, you know, really looking forward to my next visit. Number two, your go-to drink. Uh, well, I'm a fine, lover of fine wine. I wouldn't say fine, but uh, any, any sort of red wine, I'm quite happy. Uh, I've had many a happy evening dining and drinking, and uh, yeah, lo love a glass of red wine. My favorite restaurant. Well, locally, where I live in the UK, uh, it's a really nice Italian called San Giovanni's. But in the, U in the USA, uh, there's a, a restaurant chain called Eddie V's. I've been to three or four Eddie V's around the country and they do an amazing steak and the atmosphere is fabulous. So uh, yeah, I love going to Eddie V's. My favorite next belt, just happened to have it here. This is the white one with the English flag on the buckle. Uh, I wear this all the time on tour. Um, and you know, obviously uh, it means a lot to me wearing the English flag. So that's my favorite next belt. Number five, hidden talent people may not know about you. I'm not blessed with many hidden talents, but uh, I do like a bit of gardening when I'm at home. Um, uh, when I was a youngster, I, I worked uh, as a landscape gardener for a year. So if there's any talent in there, then uh, it's perhaps in the garden. Number six, rock, rock, rap, country or pop. Well, I'm a bit of a rocker. Um, my favourite band is U2. I've got all the U2 albums, I've seen them in concert and I just love their music. So the Irish band U2 is my favourite rock band. Number seven, when you're travelling, what you can't be without? I'm going to have to say my wife Lorraine. Uh, it's a little bit corny, I know, but uh, my wife travels wherever I play in the USA every week. She's my main supporter, so I can't travel without her. Number eight, best memory as a kid. That's pretty easy, really. Uh, it was my first British Open, 1979 at Royal Lytham. And that was the year Savvy Ballesteros uh, was crowned champion and won the Claret Jug. And, and that's just a fabulous memory of a fabulous player growing up. Number nine, and my favorite movie has got to be The Full Monty. I've watched The Full Monty 20, 25 times, I think. and. I always laugh at it and there's always something in there that I've missed the last time I watched it and it just keeps me amused, a really entertaining film. Number 10, are you an Instagram person or a Twitter? Uh, neither really, I'm not really up on social media, that's something I need to look at and, uh, and get involved. Um, my wife's on Facebook but uh, at the moment I don't do anything. Number 11, what does relaxation mean to you? Well, I'm on the go all the time. Yeah, my family say I never relax. Um, again, you know, if I'm in the garden with a bit of weeding, <laughs> cutting the lawns, you know, that's my time for relaxation. Other than that, it's uh, out for dinner, glass of red wine with friends and family. Number 12, what car do you want in your garage now? Well, my garage at the moment is full of rubbish. Um, it needs a real good clear out, so there's nothing in there. My car's parked on the driveway. Uh, I'm really happy with my car at the moment. I've got a Range Rover Sport in black. Um, my youngest son, Aaron, he would love me to have a white one. Uh, so that may be the next car uh, you see on my drive. 13, best advice you ever got. Well, I've got to say it's come from my current coach, uh, and hopefully my last coach as well, uh, Tim Rouse. Uh, when I first met him, I was about 47 and you know, really struggling with my game. Uh, and he basically changed my head position, the way I looked at the ball, and, and suddenly my game took off from there. You know, and the Champions, Champions Tour couldn't have, uh, couldn't have gone much better with a couple of major wins and a few other wins sprinkled in over the first five years. Long, that may, long may that continue. 14, what makes you mad? I hate tailgating. I hate people sat on your uh, bumper or fender, as you call it in the USA. Uh, and you know, I always leave plenty of room with a guy in front of me, but uh, it really annoys me when someone is tailgating me or, or stealing the space in front of me that I've left 
between me and the car in front. That's uh, that what makes me really mad. And my go-to curse word, well, I can't really say too much on camera, but uh, one of my favorite words is shite. And uh, you know, that's a polite way for, you, you can guess what. But uh, shite, when I play shite, is what I go to. Hope you enjoyed this. It's been quite amusing for me to do something like this. Uh, stay safe and healthy everyone. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon out on the Champions Tour. Thanks very much. Over and out.